Morning, morning, I am still here. Yeah, I know, I've been a bit of absent of late. Uh, last week, I was uh, basically at death's door again. Fucking shitty viruses. Um, I had the Monday off, like, not this one just gone, the week before, I had the Monday off. But there's me sitting at this home, and I'm thinking to myself, if I have any more time off work, um, then bills are going to start lacking. So I had to literally force myself back to work, even though realistically I didn't have the, the energy, the enthusiasm. <coughs> Snotting, coughing, hacking. Oh. But I did it. I soldiered through and I managed to get myself from Tuesday through to Friday. Even though um, Thursday evening, I think it would be, sort of, Thursday-ish, um, I started to feel better. I was getting there, like, you know, and then Friday, it was all right then. Um, wasn't too bad at all. <clears throat> and then through the weekend, um, it, I, did, I did get better and on better and better and better and better. And then Monday turns up and here we are. No, not Monday. It's Tuesday today. <coughs> Monday turned up and then it was like great, wonderful. And then, uh, and now it's Tuesday. I didn't get a chance to do a video yesterday because I, he just he got away from me. You know what I mean? And once you're in the flow of things, you just. But I'm doing one now, all right? Just to let you know I'm still here. I ain't going anywhere, not just yet anyway. <sighs> Two zero nine. I'm off to uh, Litchfield, as always. Now to do myself a little sit and tip there because of the trail I've got, the trail I'm carrying. He's one of these foreign trailers, it's a SMT trailer, 2XL, and because of the fact that these are dual air supply, as in they have standard coupling and palm coupling connectors on the headboard of the trailer, they, uh, they can't leave them, drop them. And plus as well with them having those little dinky wheels, it's awkward to put them onto the bay, you've got to fanny about and whatever, so realistically the shunters ain't got time to fanny about, so it's down to us, so we sit with it, get it tipped, and then uh, carry on our merry way, and that's what I'm doing today. He just saves a lot of arsenal about, to be honest with you, that's what he does, saves a lot of arsenal about. I was actually uh, on time today. <laughs> that makes a laugh, isn't it? Oh, I've been on time. I um, over the weekend I watched the the new series on uh, on Netflix called Altered Carbon. Has anybody else seen it yet? Have you seen it yet? Have you? What do you think? Is it any good? Oh, I thought it was fucking awesome. <laughs> Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I like shit like that though, so I gotta admit. I'm looking forward to the next instalment of it. See where they carry it. Ah dear, sister's devotion, eh? Good grief, she was off her head. For those who haven't seen it yet, I ain't gonna say no more. You need you need it in your life. Just that's that's a be all end all. Altered carbon. Get it sorted. I 
think it was on, when was it? It was on Sunday. I was minding my own business, right? Sitting in my own filth, as I normally do, watching telly. And uh, this thing caught the corner of me. Oh, what the fuck was that? And then I seen it again. I went, where the f A wasp. But it was fucking monster wasp. It was this big, it was huge. I've no idea where these things are coming from. I haven't got a bloody clue. Trust me. It didn't last long. Yes, it was uh, terminated with prejudice. <laughs> <laughs> but it, um, I will say this though. It don't happen very often, but there's always that one. And I've, I'm fucking baffled as to where they're coming from. But uh, that's that one now, right? Which is what is it? fucking start of February I might get another one maybe somewhere down towards October it's really weird that's the kind of space that these things just like mm. but they're very very nostalgic very slow I have no idea it's weird I've got I must have a wasp here somewhere but where I don't know there isn't one hanging around the house so I don't know where they're coming from or the only other alternative, which I'm hoping the, is the alternative, is that when I put the dryer on, the windows open, that, that it's coming in from there, like it's being attracted to the heat. That I can live with. That means that I haven't got a wasp's nest, which I don't think I have. I haven't heard no rustlings or zzz, you know what I mean, none of that crap. I've had a bee's nest before now. I've had that before. Uh, I remember my neighbour next door complaining because I couldn't have the bedroom window open because the bumblebees kept flying in there. I said, well, they ain't going to fucking hurt you. Leave them alone. Just start the window up and they'll fucking they'll buzz off back out. Can you get rid of them? No. No, I won't get, I won't get rid of them. I mean, wasps, wasps, they can die of death of poisoning, flame fl thrower. They can be run over, they can be shot, stabbed, murderized. I don't care about wasps. Wasps are the spawn of Satan, as far as I'm concerned, if ever there's a fucking thing existed. <coughs> as a matter of fact, if there's ever any kind of pointless insect, a wasp is it, right? It's pointless. What fucking usefulness has a wasp got? Fuck all. A bee, on the other hand, plenty. Wasp, none. Bees, loads. Oh, I don't know, I don't get it. So I had, I've had them like, it was in the lower part of the gutter in the, um, of the house, because they were getting inside in there, and, was, and you could hear them go, <laughs> but it was only late at night, like, because obviously when I'm at work in the daytime, I don't hear them, so it makes a difference, but at night time, when they're, when they're like, uh, when they're dorsal, sn you know, just snoozing, and, um, <clears throat> yeah, you hear the odd, the odd buzzle and fuzzle, but they won't hurt fuck all. I mean, they're only bumblebees for crying out loud. They don't do nothing. So just let them get on with it. And they'll tend, you know, after the season's gone, if ever you do everything like that, right, wait for the season to go. Once they've all gone, block up wherever they are. They'll come back to that point. But if they can't get to where they was, they'll fuck off and find somewhere else. They don't destroy anything. Whereas wasps, they will chew the shit out of your house. Brick, fucking wood, you don't care. They'll fucking destroy it. That's what I'm saying. They're a pointless creature. Why, why? Why invent them in the first place? What did they do for the fucking to help humanity? Nothing. Apart from piss people off. They sting without no fucking remorse. They don't give a shit. They're just like, ah, fuck it. <coughs> That'll do. <laughs> I mean, they're just there, aren't they? And that little fucking spiky thing at the back of them. They're just going, ee, 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 ee. no matter. It's on auto fucking thing, that isn't. It'll just keep going, but uh, bees don't. No, I'll just... Off they go. No, I won't bother you at all. <sighs> anyway. I, um, I thought to myself, I better, I better show my... Uh, show myself and say hi to you a lot. Uh, but there isn't really anything else exciting to talk about. It just ain't. It's gone a bit, uh, bit there, unfortunately. I know that um, 
I try to be as, as enthusiastic as I possibly can, but sometimes, you know, what can you do? You can't invent shit. Maybe one day I'll be able to invent something that'll fucking take me out of this place so I haven't got to work ever again, but I mean, that's just never going to happen, is it really? I noticed that the uh, the national and the uh, you know, the Euro millions had gone up, so I've had to go on that. I haven't won yet, mind you. I think the draws tonight, they'll have the Euros. Didn't win the normal one, though. Yeah. Uh, one day. Jaws, one day. Oh, yes. One day. You never know. Anyway. Being as I'm feeling a bit better today. Well, a lot better. Just compared to last week. I mean, it's unfair that you got to work when you're feeling like complete, absolute, utter dog shit. You know what I mean? There's there's no two ways about it. It is it's fucking dreadful. But... I've got to, I had to do it. I had to force myself through it. And uh, instead of losing £500, I lost £100. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Oh, I feel sorry for people out there who have no choice but to work when they're sick. It's now good. The thing is, though, right? This is the bit that pisses me off, right? Think of it like this, right? When somebody's ill, and they can't afford to have the time off, right? Then they're going to spread all their shit to everybody else. And then everybody else is going to end up having days off work because of that person who's sick and, you know, blah, blah. And it's like a, it's a chain reaction. It just keeps going. Round and round and round it goes. And it's and especially you know, being a driver in this environment, it, it's just like you, every time you get into a truck, you're stepping into a petri dish. You know what I mean? And there's nothing you can escape from it. You can't get away from it. You just got to hope that uh, your your immune system is built up enough after being absolutely fucking awful that it'll uh, keep you protected uh, until the next fucking strain of shit comes along, like you know. But it's not so much the person who's ill's fault; it's the fact that, like I've said before, your sick pay is about as useful as a fucking smack in the face. You know what I mean? Especially if you've got uh, families and stuff like that. It's just atrocious, really. I mean, you might get a bit of benefit, I suppose, from being a family credit and all that sort of bollocks, but what about the poor fuckers who haven't got families out there, right? Who, who don't get credit? You know what I mean? All this stuff, you know, helping hand, you know, to help you out, <clears throat> what have you. What about the fuckers who haven't got families and all that sort of shit? No, we have to fend for our fucking selves, we do. We don't get none of that crap. We don't. Not like that at all. But um, at the end of the day, such is life, I suppose. There's not really a lot I can do about it. It ain't like I could change the rules, is it? You know what I mean? Go, um, you know, um, when some poor bastard is ill, you know, why can't we give them a decent pay? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go because I'm going to be tired out and I will speak to you a lot whenever. Have a good morning and enjoy the snow. Ta-da! <laughs>